Finely cut figures in filigree origami, in paper or cardboard, are the métier of the Juan de Barcelona art studio. Folded, pasted, and perforated installations transform shop windows, rooms, and entire auditoriums into paper fantasy worlds. Juan de Barcelona, from the city of the same name, is a trio of artists who work not on, but with paper. We love paper. Because it's a noble material, it's eco-friendly, it's really, really easy to, to fold and glue and it's light. And because we like to turn an ordinary element as paper that we see every day, everywhere, into something extraordinary. The three members of Juan de Barcelona are Iris Hopal from Spain, and Daniel Mancini and Inti Velez, both from Colombia. They founded the design studio in 2007 and were soon creating dreams in paper for clients such as Hugo Boss, here in award ceremony at the Guggenheim in New York. They've also created decorations for Dior, Hermes, Carolina Herrera, and Zara. The more we knew the material and the more we worked with it, the more we discovered from it and like the capacities and like the abilities and like the way to transforming it and like we just saw like the, the possibilities were endless. So at the same time we're approaching a project for the first time, we're even thinking in three different scales and approaching the, the, the project in a very global way, you know, which is a space, object and sensation. Here Juan de Barcelona are creating the decorations for a gala dinner for Dior. Several hundred paper sea creatures have to be prepared for the dinner's visual delights. Inti Velez studied architecture. He sizes up the space in the hall while the others create the first prototypes at the table. For major productions, the patterns are cut by machine. Everything else is done by hand. The trio have two weeks to complete the whole thing. Well, it's difficult to keep it clean and, and tidy because paper is really, really delicate and it, usually we work with white so it stains a lot and with the laser sometimes it burns so we have to be really careful and it has to be really precise. And then another very delicate part is uh, the packaging. So how do you send these pieces to the final destination? Mm. We spend the, the same time designing as, pack, as making all yeah, the packaging. Juan de Barcelona's studio is located in the center of the Catalonian capital, not far from the old town. At first, they only worked in Spain. Now they have a lot of international clients, including many luxury brand names. We believe that the reason why luxury brands approach us is because they are, the, they are the only ones that understand the craftsmanship and the artisan work that is behind all the pieces we do. They understand that they are value. It's not just because we use a, a sheet of paper, it's because we turn that sheet of paper, we invest time in it, we use our hands, and we transform it into something completely different. We turn the ordinary into extraordinary, and these hours, these artisan work, is what actually makes one the different. One of the trio's projects took them to Germany. They were hired to design and create one of the rooms for a major Karl Lagerfeld retrospective in Bonn in 2015. Their canopy of crumpled sketches above the German designer's haute couture took 20 days to complete. After this project, we can feel more, a, more, a bigger impact over the, the media and inside our social media. We see a lot of movement in the web page. There's a lot of press around it, so I do feel it's bigger than other projects we've done. We even got the German television yeah. here. <laughs> if they have a spare moment anytime soon, Wanda Barcelona hope to try their hand at product design. 
and open doors to their dreams of paper.